Well, let's begin. Our sign language interpreter is Meresha Owiti. As we said, we do begin with a very historic move. President Uhuru Kenyatta this evening appointed his deputy, William Ruto, as acting president. Now, through an executive order, Uhuru made the unprecedented move to enable him to attend a status conference at the International Criminal Court in his own personal capacity and not as the president of the Republic of Kenya. Now, Uhuru had earlier addressed a special sitting of parliament after holding talks with the National Security Council and the Cabinet. Richard Nina has the details. Well, a really unprecedented move by Uhuru Kenyatta. He kept everyone guessing. There was a lot of speculation. Some saying that he will snub the summons by the International Criminal Court. Others saying that he will go to The Hague and make history by becoming the first ever sitting head of state to appear before judges at the International Criminal Court. But, as you will see in the following report, Uhuru Kenyatta seems to have wrong-footed even the best analysts in the country who have been weighing The Hague in the last couple of days. As had been widely anticipated, President Uhuru Kenyatta's address to the special joint sitting of parliament had everything to do with the case against him at the International Criminal Court over the 2007-2008 post-election violence. My conscience is clear, has been clear, and will remain forever clear that I am innocent of all the accusations that have been leveled against me. The 23-minute speech focused on Kenya's achievements and plans for the future, but it was big on one subject, Kenya's sovereignty. Last week, the ICC summoned Uhuru Kenyatta to appear before it for a status conference and dismissed an application by his defense team seeking to have him skip the session or appear via video link. Nothing in my position or my deeds as president warrants my being in court. With speculation over whether or not the president would honor the summons, Uhuru Kenyatta was faced with a dilemma to either become the first ever sitting head of state to appear before the court or to defy the court altogether and become an international fugitive. The president settled for a third way that seems to have escaped many analysts. That I chose not to put the sovereignty of more than 40 million Kenyans on trial, since their democratic will should never be subject to another jurisdiction. Let it not be said that I am attending the status conference as the President of the Republic of Kenya. So to all those who are concerned that my personal attendance of the status conference compromises the sovereignty of our people or sets a precedent for the attendance of presidents before the court, be assured, this is not the case. What followed was even more unexpected. To appoint Honorable William Ruto, the Deputy President, as Acting President while I attend the status conference at The Hague in the Netherlands. Uhuru Kenyatta is asking for acceptance from Kenyans over his decision. I urge my fellow citizens to accept and to understand my decision. With just hours to the big date with judges at the ICC, Uhuru made good his word. At Harambe House, he put pen to paper, signing an executive order appointing his deputy, William Ruto, as acting president while he is away. And it took effect immediately. Uhuru Kenyatta left Harambe House without the trappings of power that come with the title head of state. And minutes later... William Samoy Ruto was as presidential as they come. As he left with all that comes with the big office, complete with outriders and the presidential standard on his limousine. It will be the first time that the country will have a president in an acting capacity, a historic and unprecedented move, one that will no doubt be a subject of discussion in coming days as Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta faces judges at the ICC. Rita Tinina, KTN, Nairobi.